there and welcome to Flow Revolution Friday where I help you to inspire, innovate and motivate yourself into a life that you love. And I hope you've had a wonderful week Flow Revolutioners. We're almost nearing to the end of February already of 2014. Crazy, crazy times, you know, just going for best. So I hope you're making the most of it. Um, I hope you followed my video on being present within the moment. And um, this is a part two to that video. There were some things I felt I didn't go more into depth, so I'm doing that right now, right here, with you now. Okay? <laughs> so one thing I wanted to kind of touch upon was the fact that we tend to worry about the future and fret about the past. And because we're spending so much time in either of these situations, we forget to be in the present. Now, the main thing about being in the present is acknowledging your past, you know, understanding that you have a future, but living within this moment. Now, I've found that people who are extremely successful in what they do and are completely happy as well, not just, not just success about money, we're talking about happiness in all areas, their love, their career, and also their family these people tend to have a clear idea about what they want to do and what they want to achieve and they project this okay but they don't dwell upon it so that's the key so what do I do in terms of being present within the moment is to think about your ultimate goal what you want to do now I'm going to take two examples here first example is making a cake okay um, if you want to make a cake and you've never made a cake before, think about maybe the, the cake that you, you really wanted to make, you know, think about how you would feel once you've made the cake, why you want to make it, and people eating your cake, the whole process of making it, and think about all the pleasurable feelings you'll be thinking about and feeling and just really engage within that and attach that to the idea of the cake. Now once this is really anchored in, let it go. Just let it go and start to proceed with what you need to do, i.e. start baking the cake. Now, something like this could take about five minutes, ten minutes, not long. You know, it could be just while you're getting the ingredients together. If we transfer this to another situation, for example, you know, a big life decision. I want to change my career. I want to do something else with my future. That may take a little bit more time. You might need to um, anticipate how you're going to do that, what type of career you've done, or what kind of type career that you want to move to. So there are lots of different factors that you need to take into account. Once you've done that, um, take your time with it, and again, anchor in that feeling of achievement. So for example, you might have needed to take a course or something like that. And yeah, there are certain implications with that but then think about it, fast forward in five or ten years time, which is really useful for bigger decisions. Whereas if it's smaller things and smaller tasks, it's usually about five, ten minutes, half an hour. You, you weigh up the time scale in terms of the type of activity that you are looking to do. Again, throw it all away once you have anchored in that feeling of pleasure and then focus on what you're doing right here and right now and being within this moment and enjoying what you're doing within that moment. Now this is a daily practice. It's something that you need to consistently do in order to make it a habit. Um, our habits are usually formed over a period of 60 days. So once you have continually done this and the first days are, are rumoured to be the hardest, but do it because this is something that is going to enable you to be consistently successful in whatever you do and also really happy. Now doesn't that sound good? <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's what I would say. Just take these steps, moments at a time, and just go forward with it. But just take it one day at a time. Also recognise as well times when you're not in the moment. You know, the times when I'm like, oh, you're like, Oh my God, I'm going, I need this, I need to do this, I need to do this. Um, you know, that's when you can think, oh, I'm not in the moment. I'm not actually being present. And that could be a wonderful indicator to help you get back into the routine of being in the moment and accepting everything for how it is. 
So evolutioners, I hope you have found this video helpful. Um, please, please like this video, um, subscribe to my channel and share with everyone. Yes, every single one of your friends in reality and on Facebook. Um, like also on the lovely Facebook and follow me on Twitter and please check out www.flowvolution.co.uk that's flowvolution.co.uk and here is to the next Flowvolution Friday my lovelies I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll speak to you soon bye one thing I can highly recommend to getting out of a bad mood is to wait for it eat <laughs> I tell you I was like a bit but now I'm like ding oh. <laughs> gotta make sure everything's all in and out no in more than out sorry about that tea